Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Today I will show you how can you add these amazing features into your native Power BI line charts. Here markers are showing dynamic colors, and the data labels are in opposite sides alternatively with a line attached to it. In this chart, we are highlighting only negative numbers, with custom data label, and dynamic arrows attached only to the negative data points. So how to achieve these functionalities? Let's do it from the scratch. I have this line chart, showing total sales by month names. The total sales measure is pretty simple. It is just sum of total quantity multiplied by unit price. In order to achieve all those functionalities, I need to apply some tricks. First of all, select the total sales measure and change its data type from general to dynamic. Now we have two options. One is the DAX expression of the total sales, and another is to define the string formatting. I have already posted a video on this dynamic formatting feature. So I am defining the string format as text for the total sales measure. Now I need to dynamically format the data points. For that I will go to the marker section. But here, I don't have option to apply conditional formatting. I can only select a single static color, which will not automatically change based on my logics. We will fix this issue. But before that let me create the conditional formatting measure first. Measure name I can mention as color format. My validation expression is if the total sales of the month is greater or equal to the previous month's total sales. Then I will assign green color else red color. If you are wondering how I am going to apply this, then just wait for a moment. You will know the first workaround for this entire solution. Now select the line chart and change the visual type to a column chart. Then from the formatting section, scroll down to the color option. And here we have the dynamic formatting option. Select the option, choose format stylus field. Next is to search for our color format measure and assign to it. Click on OK, and you will see the dynamic colors has been assigned to the columns, based on whether it is greater or less than its previous months. Now I can safely switch back to the line chart, and this formatting will be automatically applied to our markers, and will work dynamically. Alright, as that we saw the first chart was having the alternate side lines for the data label, and that we will achieve with the error bars, but we need to apply one more trick for it. So error bar is enabled for total sales. Type will be by field. And it will ask to provide upper and lower bound. And we need to create these two measure where we will apply the trick. If you want to apply by percentage, it will show you the error bars for both the sides. I will select back again the type is field and will create my measures. This measure name is upper band. First, I will create a variable called rank. This variable will store the rank of all the months based on the total sales measure. So I can use the rank x function. And since my x axis is month names, I will use all selected month names in month because I have applied the sort order as well. The measure will be total sales measure and the order is in descending order. In this first visual, I want to show it on the alternate place. So I will validate if the rank is even, then the upper bound is 40% of the total sales else I don't want to show the upper bound. This way, it will leave the alternate positions and will not show upper bound for each odd months. Copy the entire expression and paste into a new measure. This measure will be used for lower bound. I just need to change the condition, just opposite to it. Here if the rank is even, it will show blank, and for the odd months, it will show only lower bars. If you are wondering why I am creating the ranks for the months, so you should know that. If I have the ranks, I can even define if I want to show only for top and bottom or only for top five, and so on. Now I can assign these two measures to the upper bound and lower bound section of the error bars. This way I will see the required lines. I know you might be confused here, as these are 40% of the total sales, or these are total sales of the month. For now, I will only say that these are total sales of the month, irrespective of it is showing at upper bound or lower bound. If you want to validate this, then you can enable the actual data label, and you will notice that the data label is same as these error bar labels, irrespective of it is showing at upper side or lower side. This is happening because we have already defined the string format for total sales. All right, next we are going to create this particular feature where it will only show for the negative data points with a down arrow and the data label as sales with negative percentage change. So I will go back to my working file. 
And first of all, I need to change the format string for the total sales measure. Since I wanted to see the total sales and the percentage change, I will replace this with this new format string. Because I wanted to see the total sales, a down triangular icon, and the negative percentage change from the previous month. But this is showing for all the data labels. So first of all, go to the error bar option and remove the upper bound measure. Now still, it is not showing only for the negative points. It means we need to change the lower bound measure expression. This was the earlier DAX expression for lower bound. This time I will validate if the total sales is greater or equal to the previous month's sales, then show blank, else draw the lower bound bar for 40% below the total sales line. Now if you will click on OK, you will see the labels only for the negative data points. I can change the data label color as red, because these are all negatives. I can also format the error bar so that it will look like a down arrow. On top of it, we show the data label. If you want to show data label for positive and negative both, I have already posted a video for this as well. You can check that out. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such videos on Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.